Who's in? Who's out? Today, we will find out what the Chiefs 53-man roster will look like for the 2024 campaign. On this edition of the Kansas City Chiefs Report, we will give you our final 53-man roster projection after the latest moves for your Kansas City Chiefs, which included a trade for Cameron Thomas of the Arizona Cardinals last night and signing Juju Smith-Schuster in NFL free agency yesterday morning. We'll go over the entire roster in just a moment. Before we do, try to reach 57,000 subscribers here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report before week one. We're just over a week away from the opener against the Baltimore Ravens. We're 500-plus subs away from reaching that next milestone. For the latest happenings on your Kansas City Chiefs all offseason long, daily news and rumors, along with our live shows, Q&A mailbags, breaking news and more, it's all right here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Subscribe now for free, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. The quarterback position, the Chiefs expected to carry two QBs, Patrick Mahomes and Carson Wentz, will be the quarterbacks. Imagine they'll have... Uh, another quarterback or two on the practice squad. And then if something were to happen to Mahomes or Wentz, then potentially you could promote somebody from there. But the Chiefs have given no indications they'll carry more than two. The running back room, this is where it gets very competitive. And we've talked about this for uh, several weeks now uh, about what the Chiefs could potentially do here. And I think at the end of the day, they roll with four with Carson Steele playing the running back slash fullback role, uh, in addition to uh, Prince, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Isaiah Pacheco as your four backs in the backfield for Kansas City. I think they go ahead and go with all four. Prince and Steele have looked good enough in both training camp and the preseason to earn a spot at this point. The wide receiver room for Kansas City includes Marquise Hollywood-Brown, uh, the injury not expected to put him on short-term IR. They think that he'll be back sooner than later, so I think he is on the active roster right away, even if he doesn't play week one. Xavier Worthy, Rasheed Rice, Justin Watson. Then we find McCole Hardman, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Sky Moore getting the last wide receiver spot, I think, for a former second-round pick that they're not ready to quite give up on Sky Moore just yet. We are projecting that Kadarius Toney misses the roster, among others as well, at this point in time. I know it's controversial. It's, it's, a, it's a tough call, but based on the indications we've been given, it sounds like that Sky Moore has the edge to get that spot. Let's ask you, will Sky Moore make the 53-man roster when it's announced later today? Weigh in, let us know. Why for yes, in for no. The tight end room. I think the Chiefs go with four tight ends. Travis Kelsey, Noah Gray. Jared Wiley and Irv Smith Jr. getting those four spots for Kansas City and some versatility. We've seen Noah Gray really start to come into his own. Jared Wiley, the rookie out of TCU, I think is going to be a fantastic piece for this Chiefs team, and you'll see this team running more 12 personnel than we've seen in quite some time. The offensive line for Kansas City includes Jawan Taylor, Trey Smith, Creed Humphrey, Joe Tooney, Wanya Morris, then we also see the rookie, the King, making it. Kingsley, along with Mike Hunter and Lucas Niang, ultimately making this roster. I still think there's a possibility that the Chiefs could potentially shop Lucas Niang and look for options, see if there's a team that's interested in a potential trade. But if not, I would expect him to get one of those final roster spots uh, for Kansas City on that offensive line right now. More to come here in just a moment, but what do you think of the Chiefs' 53-man roster? I think this is the best roster we've seen in Kansas City in quite some time, honestly. What do you guys think? Graded for me, A, B, C, D, or F. I think this is a Super Bowl caliber roster. I'm going with an A. Give me your grade in the comments section below. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time is the place to go for last-minute tickets. The best seats, the lowest prices, guaranteed. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks. That makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out all the fluff to only show you incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. They have this new thing called Super Deals. If you stumble upon a Super Deal, then you have found a deal that you do not want to pass up on, folks. They also have their seat views so you can see what that seat is like. You choose the event you want to go to. They got the prices listed. Then you choose your seat, see if you like that seat or not, and then you're checking out with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, all major credit card providers. 
Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game Time. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Wrapping up the uh, offense, now to the defensive line we go. Chris Jones, Derek Nottie, Turk Wharton, uh, Neil Farrell, and Mike uh, Pinnell get the defensive line spots. And a couple notes when it comes to the injury front for Kansas City. A couple players that won't be counted towards the 53-man roster. Charles Amenahu will begin the season on the pup list. Reports came out last night that the Chiefs are expecting uh, Charles Amenahu to make a return later on this season, but at least not within those first four weeks of when the pup would apply. Meanwhile, DJ Thompson on the non-football injury list, he's another name that the Chiefs expect to be back later on this season, but not in the immediate plans for Kansas City at the moment. The edge rusher spot, this one was tough to project, but we're going to roll with George Karloftis, King Felix, Mike Dana, and then Cameron Thomas, who the Chiefs just traded for last night from the Arizona Cardinals, giving up a seventh-round pick. We have him getting one of those spots. The linebacker room for Kansas City includes Nick Bolton. We'll go Leo Chanel, Drew Tranquil, Jack Cochran, as well as uh, Curtis Jacobs getting those linebacker spots for Kansas City. And what I think is a better linebacker room than what is advertised. What's given credit for Nick Bolton, I think, is going to have a breakout season this year and, and play at a Pro Bowl caliber level. Drew Tranquil has come through big for this Chiefs team. I think he's going to have a fantastic season as well. Watch out for him. The cornerback room. Now, with some of these guys, we're projecting just five corners, but you have some players that could shift around at the corner and the safety spots and give some flexibility. So although we're only going with five corners here, it'll make more sense when we show you the safeties here in just a bit. Trent McDuffie, Jalen Watson, Joshua Williams, uh, Johnson, and Connor. We know Connor can play some safety and go back and forth as well, but that's what we have for now. Obviously, there could be some changes before the opener next week, but at least we see five from the cornerback room making it for Kansas City at the moment. Who's a player the Chiefs should cut? Let us know. Who do you think? Who comes to mind that you would like to see Kansas City move on from in these 53-man roster cuts that we'll find out here at the end of the day? Weigh in. Give us a name that comes to mind that you would like to see the Chiefs ultimately move on from. Name them. Be that tough judge. Let us know in the comments section. The safety room, we're rolling with five safeties for Kansas City. Justin Reed, Brian Cook, Jaden Hicks. I got to tell you, I really like what I've seen from Jaden Hicks in the preseason. I think he's going to play a significant role in this Chiefs defense and give them flexibility to play three safeties on the field at the same time, which is why I lean towards them going with five to give them that depth to be able to change things in and out a bit as far as that goes. And then the special teams unit, no surprises here, Harrison Butker, Matt Ariza, the uh, new punter coming in, and then James Winchester. I know that James Winchester did suffer that injury in the preseason, but they don't expect that to be a lingering issue. He's supposed to be ready to go when the season begins for Kansas City uh, with uh, that injury not being a concern there. He's supposed to be fine and ready to go. So there you have it. That is our complete rundown of the Chiefs' 53-man roster for 2024. Later on today here on the channel, when the full 53-man roster gets revealed, when we have all the cuts that come in and the players going on the waiver wire and all that, we're going to be back here later today with a full reveal of the 53-man roster and who the players the Kansas City Chiefs moved on from, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we're going to do a live show on Thursday here on the channel as well. So plenty more ahead. Subscribe now if you haven't already, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV for continuing Kansas City Chiefs coverage. I'm Tyler Jones. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later on today right here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report.